Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well at your places. Students, this is Priyanka Verma here and once again I welcome you all to your online class of English Mulberry of class 3rd. Students, in our today's video, I will explain you the very first chapter of your Mulberry book that is going to the fair and I'll give you the question answers with the exercise. So, without any delay, take out your Mulberry book and now I'm going to show you the cover page of your book. So, students, this is your Mulberry book. Take out this book and open the very first chapter. I hope, students, you have opened this chapter. The name of the chapter is Going to the Fair. Students, this chapter is uh, basically about two children, Fern and Avery, who visit the fair with their parents for the first time. Okay, so before starting the story of this chapter, as you can see, one activity is given here, one exercise is given here. Give, given below are groups of words name one place or event where you would find all that is listed in each group one has been done for you students we are supposed to read these group of words first and we have to name the place from where we buy these things clear look at the first one pots and pens a stove a waste bin and a sink where we find these things we find these things in a kitchen like this we will do the next one cake and pastries bread biscuit and ovens where we find these things we find these things in a bakery so you write bakery b a k e r y next one is cows goats hens fields a well and a fence where we find these animals or things we find these animals in a farm so we will write f a r m farm now the last one is food and craft stall a ferris wheel music games and crowds where we find these things we find these things in a fair so you do this exercise now let's start to read the story Fern and her brother Avery live on a farm with their parents Mrs. and Mr. Arable both Fern and Avery are very fond of animals they raise on the farm one day Fern and Avery visit the fair with their parents let's read about their day so students as I told you that in this chapter we are going to read the story of two children Fern and Avery who visit the fair with their parents. So let's read about their day. The night before the fair everybody went to bed early. Avery lay dreaming that the Ferris wheel had stopped and that, wa that he was in the top car. Fern lay dreaming that she was on the swings as they are planning to go to the fair next morning so they all went to bed early every day lay dreaming that the ferris wheel had stopped and that he was in the top car and at night what the every day lay dreaming he dreamt that he was in the top car and the ferris wheel had stopped and what the fern lay dreaming fern dreamed that she was on the swings okay when they pulled into the fairgrounds the next morning they could hear the music and see the ferris wheel turning in the sky when they pulled into the fairgrounds means when they reached in the fairgrounds fairgrounds means a large open area clear 
they could hear the music and see the ferris wheel turning in the sky when they reached in the ground or to the fair they uh, they could hear the music and they could see the ferris wheel turning in the sky okay now turn the page now they could uh, smell the dust and they could uh, smell burgers frying they could see balloons aloft they could hear flocks of sheep bleating in their pens these are the things they could uh, smell means they could uh, smell the dust there and they could uh, smell burgers frying they could see the balloons aloft and they could also hear the flocks of sheep bleating in their pens can i have some money asked fern can i too asked every means both both of them both the children were asking for the money because they want to buy something in the fair that's why they <coughs> were asking for the money i am going to win a doll by spinning a wheel and it will stop by the right number said fern what the fern was saying fern said to the parents that i want i am going to win a doll by spinning a wheel and it will stopped by the right number as uh, fern is a girl so girls uh, uh, like the uh, like to play with the doll now that's why she wants to win a doll by spinning a wheel that's why she was asking for money i am going to steer a jet plane jet plane and bump it into another one said avery and what the avery said like uh, uh, like his sister he also want money why he want to buy a steer jet plane jet plane and bump it into another one that's why he also need money can i buy a balloon asked for can i buy frozen custard and a cheeseburger and a balloon asked avery means both the children wants to buy want to buy something with the money that's why they were asking money for uh, for buying the things you children be quiet till we get the animals unloaded said mrs arable and what her uh, what their mother said their mother warned them that you have to be keep quiet until we are getting the animals unloaded let the children go off by themselves suggested mr arable the fair only comes once a year and what the uh, and what mr arable suggested the arable suggested that the children should go off by their by themselves because the fair only comes once in a year so mr arabel wants them to go by themselves and enjoy their day by their own way mr arabel gave fern and avery some pocket money and now mr arabel gave both the children some pocket money now run along he said and remember the money has to last all day don't spend it all in the very first few minutes be back here at the truck at noon time so we can have all lunch together and don't eat a lot of stuff to a stuff that's going to make your sick to your stomach and what the uh, and what mr arabel said mr arabel said them now you can go you run along and remember the money has to last all day it should be for the all day don't spend it in the very first few minutes be back here you have to come back here at the truck at noon time so that we can all have lunch together and he suggest uh, he uh, warned them that uh, you should not eat uh, so much junk food that make you sick to your stomach and if you go in those swings mrs arable you hang on tight you hang on very tight hear me don't get dirty as mrs arable was quite 
worried about uh, their children so she warned them if you want to go to the to those swings you have to be very careful you hang your you hold the swings very tightly and don't get dirty now next page and don't get overheated said their mother watch out for pet pockets warned their father and their father warned them uh, to be aware from the pet pockets there is a word pet pockets what does it mean it is given in our word meaning that is pet pocket means the people who steal money from others pocket as their father has given the, some pockets money to the children so he warned them for the pick pockets okay the children grabbed each other hand each other by uh, by the hand and danced off in the direction of the merry go round towards the wonderful music and wonderful adventure and the wonderful excitement means both the children were very happy both the children were very happy when they were going when they uh, when they get the permission from uh, their parents to go by themselves to enjoy their day by themselves so they uh, they went to the direction of merry go round mrs arable stood quietly and watched them go then she sighed then she blew her nose do you really think it's all right she asked well they have got to grow up sometime said mr arable and the fair is a good place to start i guess as as their mother means mrs arable was worried about their uh, about their going by themselves that's why she was asking that uh, asking to uh, mr arable that do you think it's all right means uh, it is good that we have allowed them to go by themselves well they have got to grow up some time said mr arable but mr arable was so much confident that he said that sometimes they have to be grow up so i think the fair is a good place to start so this is the story of this chapter i hope it is clear to you now we will move on to the exercises so let's start with the quick answer complete the following sentences on the uh, on the night before the fair avery dreamed what the avery dreamed avery dreamed about ferris wheel stopping and that he was in a top car next is fern dreamed fern dreamed about she being on the swings now come to the next one now that you have read the story draw up two lists one showing how fern planned to spend her money and the other showing what avery wanted to do with the money he had so in the first one is go on the swings this is fern list and the b part win a doll by spinning a wheel and c by a balloon now come to avery's list ride the ferris wheel steer a jet plane eat a frozen custard and a cheeseburger and buy a balloon so you do this exercise in book only now come on page number 20 there is a exercise write the correct collective nouns below the given pictures one has been done for you here we are supposed to write the collective nouns and we have to choose from the given box as first is already done for you that is an army of ants so second is a flock uh, a flock of sheep then it is a crowd of people then a class of students uh, then a colony of penguin a colony of penguin a bunch of grapes and last is a school of fish sorry a school of fish so you do this exercise now come to the next one and here it is in the sentence given below 
circle the collective nouns and put a tick against the sentence that are correct and a cross against those are wrong so we have to circle here the herd of sheep collective nouns we are supposed to circle and if it is correctly uh, if the verb is correctly used here then we will put tick and if it is wrong then we will put cross here okay so the first is the herd of sheep we are supposed to circle and we will put a tick here next is the bunch of flowers you do the circle over the bunch of flowers and cross it next is the team of oxen are pulling the cart do the circle over team of oxen and put a cross here next is the fleet of sheep the fleet of ships and we will do the circle over the fleet of ships is selling today it is right so we will put a tick against the right one now on the next page this band of musician play very well so we will do the circle over band of mu musicians and we will put cross here and the last is a swarm of bees make honey so a swarm of bees you do the circle over it and we will put cross against this sentence now come to the next exercise that is on the same page match the feminine gender words with the masculine gender words here are supposed to be uh, here we are supposed to match the feminine gender with the masculine one okay the first one is headmistress so we will match it with headmaster next is nun so we will match it with monk wife with husband then niece it is nephew aunt it is uncle i think it is clear now look at the next page one more exercise is given here that is related to the same topic means masculine or feminine gender so sort the gender of the words given below and put them on the correct list you can use your dictionary if you need some help here we are supposed to uh, write all the masculine word in the masculine box then we will write all the feminine words in the feminine column and at last we will write all the common uh, words in the common column clear so the first one is policeman b it is groom then watchman wizard and grandson now come to the feminine part it is bride then policewoman lady queen and sister now come to the common doctor friend student child and teacher now students we will move to the next exercise that is on page number 23 uh students before going to the next page let's see one more exercise is given on the same page draw lines to match the objects the uh, to the correct material nouns so we have to match this also so as you can see the very first picture is of a toy car and its material is plastic okay so we will write number 1 on the plastic word clear next picture is of a robot clear and it is made of a metal so we will match it with this uh, word metal next one is it is a building and it is taj mahal building and it is made of marble so we will write number 3 on the marble word next is it is the picture of a wood uh, i mean sorry a boat and it is made of wood so we will write number 4 on wood and the last is as it is cotton so it is uh, its material is cotton so write number 5 on the uh, first one now come to the next page so students look at this exercise read these sentences and put commas in the right places here we are supposed to put comma in the right place okay rohit here we are supposed to write comma rohit comma nina comma sama and mona study at the same school in the classroom there are desks comma chairs and cupboards number 3 diwali comma pongal comma dashera comma navroz and eid are all festivals 
नेक्स्ट इज जोएल वेंट टू द मार्केट एंड बॉट सम बीन्स कॉमा सिक्स बनानास कॉमा अ बुक एंड अ पेंसिल एंड लुक एट द लास्ट वन आई लाइक रीडिंग कॉमा वॉचिंग फिल्म्स कॉमा लिसनिंग टू म्यूजिक एंड प्लेइंग फुटबॉल नाउ कम टू द लास्ट एक्सरसाइज ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज farm animals live in a barn bats also live in a barn do you know what kind of animals bats are listen to some information about bats and tick the correct choices bats do not eat what they do not eat they do not eat chips so we will put a tick against the last one clear bats do not have feathers on their body okay next is bat, baby bats are called puppies and the last is a group of bats is called colony so with this exercise we have almost completed our book work now i'll give you the question answers so so students these are the question answers reference to context so this work you are supposed to write in your copy in your fair notebook look at the third one you children be quiet till we get the animals unloaded said mrs arable so the first question that is related to these lines is who were the children that mrs arable was speaking to answer would be mrs arable was speaking to her own children fern and avery Next is where were the arables? Why were they there? The arables were in a fair, and they were there to visit the, to visit it. Next is why did Mr. Mrs. Arable ask the children to be quiet? Mrs. Arable asked the children to be quiet because they were unloading the animals farm, uh, animals from the truck. Now come to the fourth one. So watch out for pickpockets warned their father. First question, why did Mrs and Mr Arable give in, give instructions to the children? Mrs and Mr Arable gave instructions to the children because they were going in the fair alone. Next is list two other warnings that they gave to the children. The two others the two other warnings were not to get overheated in the fair and not to get dirty now last is which word in the extract means people who steal purses and wallets so the word pickpockets means people who steal purses and wallets now students let's do read reflect and write so question number 5th is what were the sounds that fern and avery heard when the when they reached the fair it is they when they reached the fair so the answer is fern and avery heard the sound of music and flock of sheep bleating in their pens once again fern and avery heard the sound of music and flock of sheep bleating in their pens now next question question number 6 is How did the parents feel about the children going off on their own? How did the children feel about going off on their own? So the answer is parents were nervous at first but then they felt that they will grow up after some time and fair is a good place to start with while the children were happy and excited about going off on their own. Now next question the last question is do you agree with mr arable that the fair is a good place to start growing up write two reasons for your answer so yes i think fair is a good place to start with by this the children will understand how to spend the money and they will also be aware of the big pockets so you do these question answers in your notebook and learn it as well now i'll meet you in my next video till then stay safe stay home bye bye